Hello everyone, this is GrayShop170 here bringing you another Company for History replay brought to you by Missa. If you have any replay you'd like to send me, you can send it to me via my Gmail or my Facebook located on my YouTube page. And if you don't know how to send it, you can look on that page and you can currently see how to send it in. Let's see, overall, even though that, that let's see, we currently, Misa sent in, he's the bridge player, lower ranked, but he's with two higher level players. That being said, even though these guys are slightly higher rank or lower, I would say these guys still have the advantage because of the fact they have more consistent, well, yeah, I would say more consistency compared to these two guys. That's just my opinion. What is going on? Dear God, it's like idiots in stereo. <laughs> oh my God. This, this, this is, no, I have no comment. Anyway, on the anyone's team, it's Misa, Palmar, and Phantom, versus Deco, Mortarian, Addict, <coughs> oh my God, maybe sneeze, Axiom. So anyway, it's a 3v3 on Rezhev Winter, I feel like. Um, it, interesting map. I like the fact that it has more variables to it than most maps. Again, I, I like the fact they use water, interestingly, in this map. I wish they did it in more maps, but that's just me. Very nice. Try to get around the brush in place and make sure they could, can't get, put it up. And without that, even though these guys are pretty much, uh, by heavy cover, if they focus up with enough units, they'll, they'll probably lose that. Actually, if I was with this guy, I would rush and get behind, yeah. Because I think cover is directional. So right now, I, I think it would still be in cover. But if he would flank it, he would actually do pretty good. What is shooting? The, oh, there's... Never mind. Pull back. Pull back. Oh, you're dead. Actually, I actually haven't really seen this where the guy just spams the uh, front line infantry section. That's actually interesting. Um, let's see over here. We have XM putting up defenses. Wow, a lot of MG defenses. Looks like he wants to hold that fuel with everything he has. That being said, this bridge player is holding this point. Most likely, he might go for the cutoff point right here, which would cut off the fuel. Same thing as this point, I think. I think this point's a cutoff as well. This guy's coming over being like, Hey, dude, what? Wh why are you attacking us? And this poor Pioneer squad's going to get wrecked. It's a lot of British troops in this thing. Is, yep, good, good. Just retreat. Just retreat. Anyway, on the left side, we can see here the British players also locking down the fuel. Again, this one's actually... Okay, so both locations are easily... Uh, you can hold, but this one is easily more defendable, in my opinion. Because there's one way the enemy can get into you, attack you. They can't come up this way because of the hill. So if you put enough AT fire, machine gun fire, and mines to put this point, and a mine here to stop infantry and pretty much break the ice, you stop them from coming through this point. Sure, they can always come through here, but then, of course, that is just the main front. Compared to this side, where, yes, it's one point over here, and they can come through the ice, but so it's so much op more open that they can come through multiple directions. Although, to be fair, at least this is stopping infantry from only coming in this section for a time. So, in mid, we currently have the British pushing up on Vickers' machine gun. Taking some damage, but holding its own. Uh, unfortunately, you retreat two really good Volk squads, so... That kind of sucks. What doctrines did you guys go? We have the Breakthrough Doctrine, which is great for the Ag Tiger, and the Assault Artillery. Great uh, artillery that'll hit a single point and then drop smoke. The Ag is great. Uh, pretty much the best AT gun the OKW have, or OK unit, I'm sorry. And then we have Assault Support Doctrine. This is good. Oh, I would say highlight would be the Oval Blitz Trucks, which can resupply um, your and give you more munitions and fuel. Counterpoint would be the, uh, counterpoint would be the fact that they can be killed or captured. Also the Tiger, good heavy tank. On the British side, we currently have the Royal Engineer Regiment. Highlight would be the fact you can heal. Wow, this guy just got wrecked. You can heal in placements, and also you fact you do get an AVR, which is a very explosive unit. Uh, wow, actually they went the same doctrine. All right, uh, I guess the other highlight would be anti-building flame mortars, which again kills both. Um, MG bunkers, stuff like that, that the uh, Germans can put down. Really, any bunker, actually. And it also kills uh, units in buildings. So that's pretty cool. So, nice try over here by the German player. Trying to snipe out the MG. Very, actually, clever. I actually... A lot of people don't really use the sniper all that much. Nice job just picking off this guy and just being like, Alright, I'm just gonna snipe you, take you out. 
Wow, Sniper slowly ranking up. Very nice. I like this guy's slow but steady approach over here. Um, this guy, he could counter if he went... Wow, speak of the devil. He's going the armored car. Um, that would allow him to pretty much send a unit. Could easily just pick off the sniper and then rush over this territory. That said, it's also a counterpoint where he won't have a defense. I know, wow, this guy's freaking out. Um, again, the British are typically known for having like great solid defenses. Wow, I don't know why this guy's placing a mine where, of course, the enemy can see it, but whatever. We have a bow for here. I think it's going to die, honestly. I truly... Well, nice flame door. I'm assuming you got the flame door because you went... How'd you get the flamethrower? Nice support gun hit. Again, um, yep, here we go. We have a support gun over by Mortiron. Nice British blob over here. Oh, if only he could build that bunker a little faster, he would have been able to hold that thing back. All right, if he can hold it back for 10 seconds. No, you suck. Support gun can suppress him. Ooh, nice hit. Uh, we have some something. I, oh, one, one of these guys threw smoke, which will do coordinate fire. The problem is he has one building, so this gun is going to fire only a few shells, and I, none of them are going to be a direct hit. I, I, I stand corrected. Wow. I've never, usually we're, it's not that great of a hit. Oh, nice support gun hit. Again, they're very weak when they're jumping over the fence, which makes them really easy to mow down. Um... Oh, they're going to retreat right into that MG, causing more damage. This guy's a lot of manpower, but I'm not entirely sure what he's going for. That being said, we can see here that this exam player is rushing for a Panzer IV. We'll see how that goes. I mean, don't worry. Wow, he's really rushing for a Panzer IV. He doesn't even have frontline. Okay, that could be a bad move. Because, no offense, dude, you're going to have excess manpower. We don't own. Maybe a pioneer a group w would be pretty good, but yeah, that's risky. This guy's losing a lot of men. He has a, lot, a decent amount of fuel, but not a lot of manpower, so that's the issue I have with this guy. However, uh, Deck has actually a lot of forces and is currently coming off the British's um, uh, fuel, which is pretty huge in my book. Now, we have an armored car moving up. This could be a big issue. Uh, that being said, they could easily just panzer fight. Yep, there we go. And stop in its tracks. Do they do? So, okay. Mortars up. Unfortunately, they have no AT or defenses. The sniper can keep picking this guy off. That being said, another Panzer Faust. Oh my god. That was BS. Alright, keep the MG here. But at least you caught their fuel for the time being, so that's pretty effective. We have Opal oh, Blitz Trucks, which is a lot. Wow, okay, this guy's just spamming Blitz Trucks. So he's trying to rush Wow, 46 fuel per turn. Holy mackerel. This, yeah, this guy's definitely rushing. Uh, we do have a Bofa right here, which could be very deadly. We do have a Ford Assembly here, which makes it, of course, better. By allowing it to use its special without the need to put your tree in it. Which can suppress infantry. Let's see how... Um, I would say up to, like, right here, I would say, probably... It's, anyway, it will definitely stop anything from crossing nice. Again, another infantry block, but like I say, this orange guy, the Phantom, doesn't have a lot of uh, pretty much front lines. So honestly, all they need is a few good units they can hold this back. Or simple MG, which is what they have. They have an MG holding this back. Also, one unit over here, you're going to die, dude. You're seriously going to burn. Um, MG is going to unfortunately hold pretty much that infantry block back. So there's really no point. Yeah, I know he's going to try to rush up to try to throw a... We're artillery, uh, sorry, some artillery or something, but yeah, there's just no point. He's gonna just burn. Nice, actually, look, actually, I do like this location for the truck. I think it may be a little too close for this, but at least it's blocked by some cover, and you can stop units from rushing in on your side, so that's pretty good. I'm assuming the armored car is rushing through here. Okay, um, honestly, if I was this guy, uh, would have been this guy, I would have honestly put mines over here to make sure they could not attack. That's my opinion. That being said, nice Panzerfaust that on the armored car that will at least pull it back. And nice shots off, dude. You're really hitting them. Um, 320. You do have yeah, okay, so you do have this base. You could probably rush for something. Really, a Flak Panzer. That's what you go a Flak Panzer. I guess he wanted to block the infantry, but literally he could have got a Panzer IV, which in my opinion would have been better. But that's just me. 
All right, so this thing is, as you can see, suppressing the infantry over here and also killed the building, which is pretty smart. Um, again, this thing's ability, honestly, if you use it to, oh, I'm sorry, it can target buildings very deadly, very deadly, and very can quick and can quickly kill a building, which is fantastic if you are reversing a build. If someone they gain a building close by to your emplacement, and you're like, well, I can shoot it or I can just activate it. That being said, the enemy is spamming a lot of infantry, so I can see why the Black Panzer would be very good. The Black Panzer is amazing at killing infantry. The counterpoint I have is that. I don't know if how much damage it does to a Bofort, and I don't think it would do all that necessarily that much. However, if you're saying, oh, Grey Shot, they're, they're, you know, spamming fortifications, yes and no, because while they're spamming possibly these fortifications, remember, every fortification they make is a, is a very strong unit they cannot move. Oh, wait, nice hit. Very nice hit. So, they could use long-range AT fire to take it out, but like I said... Because he restricted himself to not getting the mechanized company nor the infantry company, he doesn't have any sort of unit other than armor to fight this, and that is very dangerous. Uh, nice job suppressing, but of course they do capture it. Um, like I said, I feel like over here is pretty much la like lacking defenses. I feel like the German player should be placing mines like crazy, especially because he has 200 points, and he has three tr oh, blitz trucks. Again, I can... Is he a higher level player? I'm double checking. No, he's not, but he's definitely like a very specialized player. Cause it, it's been a while since I've seen a person do this tactic, just spamming something like this. Uh, by the way, I have no idea why he got this unit. Uh, hold on. Oh, he inspired troops. Never mind. Oh no, the officer died. Never mind. Hey, at least the but it, it may. Oh, never mind. You have so many units close by. This Stern Pioneer is just like having a field day. Guessing a mortar. Yep, we have mortars over here. So we have a, we have a nice line right here. Also plane overhead. AA fire might shoot it down very quickly. That being said, you still have to worry about a plane. They're going to be healing pretty quickly. Oh, that could be very bad if it crashed here. Alright, we have a Jagdpanzer. This is good. Uh, Jagdpanzer is good because you can fire long range and kill some of these emplacements. Maybe. Alright, so this guy's kind of focusing over here. Still pushing. I think he still can push rather easily over... Okay, there's an MG here. They could get in the building. Um, a nice flank, but unfortunately MG's here to stop your advance. So, there's that. Jagdpanzer moving up. And like I said, I feel like it has the range to snipe it, so that's pretty good. He could be using a suppressive barrage, it's not going to do anything to this. The Piops, on the other hand, could be a big, big issue. That being said, he doesn't have that many units. They're focusing on all, all these emplacements, and if I was if I was the Germans, I'd be like, okay, let's, guys, let's not attack their strong point, let's attack their weak point, which would be the area they have one random MG and one random thing over here. Should they have a mine, but just get a minesweeper, because, you know, it's not like you don't have a unit that can get a minesweeper. Just saying. Units moving up, you're getting more support guns. I feel, okay, you do have a Panzer IV. You do have a Panzer IV. That's a smart move. I think it's a good move, because again, that provides you armor, and it provides you armor to fight this thing. Because I'm not saying the armor, this thing can't, but, very nice kill. Very nice kill on the armor car. That being said, on the British, I do like this defensive line over here. The Beaufort can go toe to toe with armor. The problem is just sustained fire will kill it. And if you get bracing and stuff like that, dude, target it. Unless you have an only on vehicles. No, you don't. You can actually tell these guys to attack over here. Just back up. Another MG, but of course they're going to use something, I assume. Yep. Anti-building, so that will kill pretty much this. Are you, how did they lose the, pay? oh, the PI. Dude, you really need to stop wasting your armor. Again, nice try with the building, nice try. But dude, you need to stop making this. Now that they are using this flame barrage, you know, I think it only does it when they're in sight, which is why it kind of missed. But you need to stop doing that and actually focus on frontline units. 
again, you can't fight a, uh, a doctrine that specializes in destroying bunkers. You just can't do that. That being said, I think this bunker will live, which is good for them. But I don't think anything else will. Let's see, this guy's assault over here is going to uh, probably go badly. He's spamming a lot of MGs. And actually, I think this was it. This MG is probably in a bad location. I don't like this building. It's basically killed. Um, honestly, I'm very surprised the British don't just come over here and wreck you. Because there's no AT over here and literally an armored car would do it. <sighs> but that's just me. Let's see. D Decal goes Joint Operations Doctrine. I like this Doctrine. I really do. But with the flame mortars that might kill this, maybe. I think it does? I'm not 100% sure. I think it will hit the pack 43. But whatever, in whatever the case may be, it will still it will still be difficult to hit the British, especially with all these bombs and mortars going off. I can see why you went this. Maybe you could use your uh, basic artillery, which again, you have upgrades. Um, to maybe hit this area, and that would be a smart idea. Again, they do have a lot of, they've, I, they have a really nice defensive line, look at that. Why are you, oh, you're destroying this cover, okay. But that being said, I, I hate that the Germans were just, okay, finally. We have some, okay, so finally they're pushing on the left side. I swear to God, you are so close to that mine. Don't, oh my God, you're so stupid. Have a minesweeper, that might help you. If you go in enemy territory. I hate when people do that. It's so simple. I always have one. I I really thought that was a gammon bomb being thrown, but oh no, it's smoke. So let's see, that's orange. That unit just got owned. And he doesn't have any upgrades, so we're gonna more worry about one barrage. It seems like these guys are also just not really upgraded. Okay, this guy upgraded. He has Churchill. And I'll allow him airburst shells which would be very deadly against vehicles so that guy is enough but no one else does also hypothetically speaking they do have all these emplacements right next to a point so an assault artillery would actually do quite a lot of damage against all this they also have this 17 pounder but like i said it can shoot up to here so fine they can't take this territory look you have all this territory and the right territory that you can go through Sure, they have mid. Just make sure you have a defensive line, like, there. But otherwise, you guys can hold. They're all fortifying in one area. If you got, if the Germans start complaining about that, that's their fault. That being said, I do like how they're concentrating on a, four, on a nice defensive line here. And then, got, I, I hope their strategy is then just send units on left and right. Strong defense on mid, and then hitting the flanks pretty hard. That being said, this attack is going to fail because there's a Brumbar over here, which will easily own this. By the way, of all things, a Brumbar, I guess you weren't brought up Brumbar because they have no, um, I guess they have no, um, armor to really speak of. And you're not wrong, oh, that was a nice hit. And you're not wrong in that statement, they really don't. Also, really another strafing run, why would you send a strafing run over here, of all things? Actually, I think you just murdered that unit. Yes, you, yes, you did. You murdered that unit. Congratulations. Um, never mind. It was worth killing that one unit. How much was that? 150 munitions to kill one unit. Great. Um, capturing this territory. At least, I'll give this. Decal is at least moving around and capturing territory far better than they are. And I'm, again, very curious. Like, red... Okay, yeah, he is a, like a mobile, uh, more mobile British unit. You know th that... Really? Really, Sims, uh, to be fair, City Skylines is a far superior game. Um, a sim if for those who don't know, highly, if you like city, if you want a city builder game, highly recommend City Skylines. Skylines played it, made an awesome city. And pretty much, wow, nice kill. No, that's not how you win all the time. Also, I have no idea what you called in over here. We re light art really a light artillery barrage. I guess that's cool because you could break up the ice over here and you could stop them from coming over. So even if you didn't mean to, that was actually a pretty smart strategy. But it failed to break the ice. Also, Brumbar would murder this in one hit. Come on. Oh, dude, you pulled back at the wrong time. Although one bunker busting barrage would be amazing at that point. 
you have the equipment to beat this guy. You have this, and that will easily kill it. And if you do that in combo with the, with uh, this, oh my god, you guys would be in the clear. And you can see what everyone went if you click on, sorry, on this, it shows something else. If you go on that, you can activate that ability right there and annihilate all their defenses. It's kind of sad, it really is. But Missy, you're doing a decent job at least attacking here. At least you're trying to hit the flanks while your two allies are stuck in the middle. And don't be wrong, at least while they're hurting the Germans who have no idea of a right flank or what a right flank means or left flank in their opinion at least you're trying to push up and you are dealing with a lot of units but a nice minefield Okay, like this guy's finally like, hmm, maybe I should send units over to help. I'm assuming he's saving up for this. I'm assuming he's saving up for the ABRE. That's what my assumption would be. Oh my god, pull back. Strafing run, perfect timing. Come on, suppress him. Suppress him. Very nice. Now run him over. Now run him over. Don't run him over. Don't run him over. Don't run him over. Run away. Run away. Oh, please run him over. Please run him over. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. I like how the Oswin out of control did more damage than the Oswin in control. That's that's pretty epic in my book. But anyway, this guy keeps losing too much armor. He keeps him in too long. I mean, he should retreat him. Um, I, I again, I would have said charge if you had a Panzer IV up, but because you didn't, eh. Also, you have enough for a Tiger. Use the Tiger. That being said, of course, probably it's too bulky and you probably would lose it pretty quick. I swear to God, if you go on the ice and they put a mine... No mine. Oh well. One can only hope. Do you have an AVRE? Oh my. Why would you go over here? You know they have a 17 pounder. They could easily turn to murder it. Also, all the PI guys over here. Use the assault artillery. Come on. Mortarion, you're complaining about SimCity, yet you have the perfect weapon to bring down SimCity and you don't do it. Who's at fault here? Who's at fault? AVRE moving up. Again, takes a while to fire with this thing, so really that was a waste. Um, yeah. Yeah, like this emplacement will die because they have enough they have enough stuff up close to kill it. Also, no idea why, of course, their emplacement and their support guns are being killed. If their support guns are yeah, there we go. Oh, they have one. I thought you had two. Whatever. Yeah, if he keeps doing support gun fire, he can easily kill this thing. Besides, he's at three stars now. Yeah, increases barrage range, and I think next one's like double. We have an assault over here. The problem is that, unfortunately, these guys do not have armor. Like, sufficient armor. They keep spamming medium armor. He should have got heavy armor, because he has the ability to get heavy armor. Nice kill. Uh, flank on this side, killing all their MGs, again because of their mortars, and we have a, finally a nice flank on their left hook. This guy should probably retreat his oboe blitz truck, and the artillery, which he finally got, which has been hitting this place, and killed this, again, is wasted because they're about to be flanked pretty hard. That, be, that being said, the, the uh, what was this thing, the Brumbar's coming in from behind, could actually do some damage against this because, again, they have some nice EP and they could take it out. A uh, light artillery barrage coming in. I feel like that was a waste once again. They're trying to kill this artillery piece. I understand why. Very nice artillery barrage to do. Use your bunker buster. You are so stupid. Use the bunker buster. I like how the missiles are actually hitting this guy's own unit and murdering them. Barely retreated. Again, once again, if you had mines that you would place, it would be amazing right now. Uh, but that being said, the British attack, I did like it. It did neutralize this artillery piece, which is the biggest stuff they have over here. Except for, of course, this thing, guys. The sword artillery, which he will not use. For whatever reason. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, this guy would miss out with Vanguard operations. 
strafing support, which brings in the planes, which helps bomb all the these units. Some AA is currently firing, but the planes most likely won't go down anytime soon. And we have a comet moving up. Once again, that guy had that. F I'm sorry, no offense. What's this guy's name? XM? No, it was D Deck. Deck had that place for so long. Put mines here for vehicles and put explosives here because stop armor from the crew. It's not that hard. You had the entire side locked down, you could have easily mined it more effectively. I swear to why would you keep this here? Why would you keep this here? You know they're attacking. He's going to lose not only this, but the other blood struck. Brumbar could move up and help, but he's not doing that. Five star stern pioneers. That's pretty epic. Well, look how fast it's healing. That's really cool. Panzer were for firing. I'm using the thing here. No, why are you tar- Pan Well, first, Panzer Warfare is not that great at killing these. It's great for killing infantry, not this. Secondly, most importantly, this guy doesn't use this. I don't- I think he used it over here. That's why- no. I'm sorry, this plane is doing that. Where'd he use it, then? In mid? Once again, we have the Bunker Buster, which he could use at targeting an armored vehicle, but no. That would be the smart thing to do. At this point, the axe is pretty much lost. I... This is once again an opportunity where, don't get me wrong, the British could have easily come over here, but I hate when people do this. It's like, let's make a giant defensive line. All right. And I don't get me wrong, the British are smart at this. If, if, if the Germans don't want to counter, that's fine. But... It's like, hey guys, let's have a giant defensive line here. Alright, how do we defeat it? Let's keep hitting our head against the wall over and over and over again until it cracks. It'll work, I swear. Either that or we'll be knocked out. One of the two. Oh, Jesus Christ. You, oh, by the way, I know the Germans can see this. So this guy's literally just spamming. And you have a Panzerwerfer that you could fire. And you have artillery guns currently hitting this area. But you have nothing to capture this area, so it's a waste. And as much as I keep saying you guys use your artillery abilities, you guys don't. So I don't honestly understand what you want to do. By the way, Night White, f f the White Phosphorus stops from uh, getting out of the capture point and allow the run engineers to capture the territory. Nice five-star units. I will say this: the guys at least have a couple of nice five-star units. And the flame door unit, pretty cool. Now, of course, it dies. That would be pretty sad because he's being chased. Panzerwerfer once again focusing their fire here. And they're kind of just like sporadic. They did kill the 17 pounder, which I'll say GG, but they don't have anything specific. These guys, look, there's nothing over here. And you, you, by the way, you're still not turning your MG, which again, Jesus Christ. ABRE coming in, neutralizing that artillery piece, very smart. They're calling in more artillery over here instead of the blob over here. This is the problem I have. They're, they're focusing on what they perceive the problem is and not re and how to like, really correct the problem. They're like, oh, there's some resistance. Let's just keep hitting it instead of just all the units you could kill with one Panzer Barrage. King Tiger moving up. I'm assuming what's going to happen is King Tiger's going to go over the ice and then the AVR is going to murder it. And then they're just going to be like, all right, we're done. That's how we see this game end. They're going to attack over the ice, and they're going to die. And that's what's going to happen in my book. I'm really hopeful that... Oh, so close to going through. I would be amazing if that went through. Wow, maybe get your Pins Warfare out of the rocket zone, hypothetically speaking. That might be a good idea. They don't have the 17 pounder anymore. If you could use your recon, you would see that. But the Germans are pretty much pushed back to base. Once again, uh, again, Misa, nice job with a comet. Pretty good job. And you have been pushing over here, so again, pretty nice. Really, you place the bunker, you know they can kill it easily. And he's like, I'm done. Peace.
Oh, great. They're going back to what? If I swear, if I see another what, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, d I'm seriously just done. Stop. D did the plane just... Oh, my God. The plane just crashed over here. Stop with the artillery over here. My God. This is not the problem. Although, nice light artillery barrage. We're doing that. Because he can't... Oh, no, he could. He just doesn't want to. That's... That's great. Um, let's see over here. British pushing up. T holding back the OKW again with the MG, which again they stole for MG. They stole both of them. 20 bucks, he just came here, killed both of them while this guy wasn't even paying attention. But not leaving aloud. Really? I hate, now I hate you. I hate you so much. Now you use it over here. Now you use this artillery. Now they're all dead. There's no point. And also, I love all the fact that... Now that they killed all these emplacements, the British are like, alright, let's get units. Yeah, all the all these guys are doing now is getting actual well, some of them. Actual units. Instead of their emplacements. So all you're doing is like, oh, we have manpower and a ton of fuel and resources. Let's let's grab something else. That's all you're doing by focusing on here. Which I find pretty funny in my book. You guys went from pretty much saying GG to losing simply because of the fact you did not coordinate you kept losing units at a at a very surprising rate even though you actually had a really good tactic actually it's been a while since i've seen the the obel blitz truck tactic that's actually pretty cool but like i said you threw it out the window when you failed at this game also i love how it just bounced he moved all the way up to just bounce it We have the Rumbar moving up. And we have about two... Oh, we have, we have Bofors coming in. Artillery's still hitting this area. Hey, hey. Nice hit, and the AVR is staying back. Please let the King Tiger die over the ice. Please let the King Tiger die over the ice. That would be incredible. Come on, go over the ice. Be an idiot, go over the ice. I know you want to do it. I know you want to do it. God dang it. <sighs> anyway, that's game. I Is there a pl Oh, I guess there's a plane overhead, I assume. I thought something landed. Whatever. In any case... My opinion, Germans, uh, the British played well. They had a nice defensive line. What they lacked in pretty much fighting ability, they just made up for. And Germans beating themselves to death against their Iron Curtain over here. Which, sure, kind of a little OP in some regards. But you could, they had the resources and abilities to take it out. But did they chose not to use it. And chose to keep hitting themselves over the head. They could easily have stopped this. Put some MG. Not bunkers. Put your MGs down. On the line of the mortars. Because again you can literally use a recon. Click the unit and see. Oh it goes that far. And then you put the MG on the outskirts of said unit. You know. That would be good. And just hold around the outskirts. Make sure they couldn't push up. Over here maybe do a nice flanking maneuver. Capture this territory. Stop them from you know. Taking his resources. Mortar might have hit it, but again, just keep annoying them over here. On this side, you could have pushed over here. Mind it. Made sure they couldn't move up with the armor. Made sure, of course, the armor that goes across here would have instantly died with some mines. Even if you put the mine, like overall, it doesn't have to be an anti-tank mine specifically. You could just put the, light in the minefields, and literally that would cause enough damage to the ice to break it. But no, they just went a big defensive line, and like Pike's Charge, it just failed epically again they they could have won if they pushed the flanks but that no they chose to hit the wall head on and not really properly defend their flanks at all and don't you, you say oh gray shot they should have focused on mid emplacements yes they should have when their artillery was right and when they saw artillery one one continuous assault with artillery and assault artillery would have easily killed everything and then they could have pushed on the flanks or pushed on mid but no they didn't do that they waited until the flanks were broken and then pushed with everything and lost everything because their flanks were hit gg in any case let's look at damage uh overall me said most damage i'm a, i'm actually curious i'm assuming that's a comet 
Yep, Comet. And, uh, let's see. Most kills. Get, well, really close, but Phant uh, Phantom got most kills. Most damage went to Mortarion. Uh, most damage again. He had the Jagdpanzer and the King Tiger, which makes me assume why. Also, he had these sport guns, which that's why I'm assuming he did a lot of damage. Yeah, Jagdpanzer, even though it didn't get a kill. So also, sport gun was pretty good. And it's, and actually, it's quite a lot. You know, so Morton, pretty good. But, like I said, you should have probably really focused on thinking, oh, alright, there's some placements there, let's move somewhere else. But no, no, let's just keep banging your head against the wall. I mean, you could have defended there on mid, and then the blue guy could have hit the f one flank, and this guy could hit the other flank. But no, no. And besides, if they have an entire army's worth of fortifications here, not moving, just take the resource here, take the resource here, and call GG. But no, no, just keep banging your, hall, uh, banging your head against the wall trying to capture this point. That, that's fine, that's fine. In any case, that's game. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.